is a day to honor all those brave men and women who have served and are serving their country with bravery, dedication, and self-sacrifice. A warm morning to all, respected CEO sir, respected principal, and all my dear friends. I, Jeff, along with my team, am going to conduct today's assembly. Today's assembly is based on Army Day. God is the Almighty of the world. So let's start a prayer song by Erin, followed by Hari Govind with the special prayer for the army. We ask, Lord, that you guide the leaders of our great country in all their decisions. The burden that has been placed on their shoulders is overwhelming. We ask that, with your infinite wisdom, you guide them gently to the right decision. Protect and guide our military. O oh Lord, strengthen them in their trials. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Amen. Now I call upon Shemin Robert for the pledge. Everyone please stretch the right arm forward for the pledge. India is my country and all Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I'm proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always strive to be worthy of it. I shall give respect to my parents, my teachers and all my elders and treat everyone with courtesy. To my country and to my people I pledge my devotion. In their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness. Jai. Every morning brings us a new thought, a new strength and endless possibilities. So to enlighten and brighten our morning, thought of the days, hate cannot drive out hate. 
Only love can do that. By Martin Luther King. One day we must come to see that peace is not merely a distant goal that we seek, but it is a means by which we arrive at the goal. So we must pursue peaceful ends through peaceful means. News informs us about what is happening around in the panoramic world. So to rewind the happenings of yesterday, here comes Shiva with the news. Good morning all. I'll be your host for updating you with the latest news. Debris found after the Indonesian plane crash. Indonesian rescuers pulled out body parts and pieces of clothing from the Java Sea a day after the plane with 62 people on board crashed. The total number of global coronavirus cases has surpassed 90 million. Theatres reopened in Kerala. Film theatres with 50% occupancy reopened in Kerala on Wednesday after being closed in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. The researchers reveals the important clues to understand the death of the massive stars. Premier 15th said to be postponed due to coronavirus. Thank you all and have a nice day. Increases our vocabulary, raises our self-esteem, builds good communication skills, and strengthens the brain. So now I call upon Jeevan for a calm book review. Good morning to you all. Today's book review is about I Am Malala, the story of the young girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban. This book was written by Malala Yousafzai and Christina Lamb. It is the biography of a girl named Malala who lived in Pakistan. She was a young girl from humble beginnings in Pakistan and her journey to show the world that education was very important. My thoughts on the book were, huh, this is an interesting book. This was because in the book Malala had faced many hardships to reach her success. The book had many but quite short chapters as well as not many pictures. In the starting of the book, it tells us about Malala's personal life. The book gradually tells us about the, uh, her adventure of having people to think about the importance of education. I would recommend this book to my friends because it has an educational value and has great role models as well as a great message. Hope you find this book interesting. Thank you and have a nice day. Let's see an inspiring speech presented by Erin about today's topic. Good morning to one and all present here. Respected principal, respected teachers, and my dear friends. Today, I am standing before you to give a speech on Army Day. In India, every year on 15 January, Army Day is celebrated with great enthusiasm. The purpose to start to celebrate the Army Day is to give respect to the Lieutenant General of India K.M. Karyapa, who was the first Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army. Army Day is celebrated all over the country every year at all the Army Command Headquarters and National Capital with a ceremony like Army Parades including many military shows. The Army Day is celebrated to pay respect and salute to the courageous and brave soldiers of the Indian Army who have been sacrificed their lives for the sake of the country. Indian Army General K.M. Karyapa was succeeded the British Army General Roy Butcher and became the first Commander-in-Chief of Independent India. Indian soldiers are always ready to take part in battles at Indian borders and natural resources also. They bravely face all the challenges and difficulties in their way to save the nation and people. A Celebration of Army Day Indian Army plays a very crucial role during natural disaster situations in the country as they are completely dedicated to the country to be the award-winning team. On this day, to pay respect and tribute on the sacrificed Indian soldier, all the ministers and officials gather at the Amar Jawan Jyoti at India Gate in New Delhi and celebrated the Army Day. After paying homage to the sacrificed soldiers, Many excellent shows and events organized by the military and the Indian Army, like Army Parade and Military Show. Thank you, Erin, for the wonderful speech. To entertain you with today's assembly, I'm going to call Shiva for the special program.
In India, every year on 15th January, Army Day is celebrated with great enthusiasm. The purpose to celebrate the Army Day is to give respect to the Lieutenant General of India, K.M. Karyapa, who was the first Indian Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army. Army Day is celebrated all over the country every year at all the Army Command Headquarters and National Capital with ceremonies like parades including many military shows. In 2021, Army Day will be celebrated on the 15th of January on Friday. It would be celebrated as the 73rd day all over the country. On 15th January 1949, General K.M. Karyapa was appointed as the Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army from Sir Francis Butcher, the last British Commander-in-Chief of India. The Army Day is celebrated to pay respect and salute to the courageous and brave soldiers of the Indian Army who have sacrificed their lives for the sake of the country. Indian Army General K.M. Karyapa was succeeded by the British Army General Roy Butcher and became the first Commander-in-Chief of the Independent India. Thank you Shiva for the exciting program. As today's theme is Army Day, we shall be grateful and proud of what our soldiers have done and to our country. And now, here comes Tanya for a tribute of the Indian Army. Our soldiers are our pride. They sacrifice everything for us and our country. Like they leave their family, home, relatives, cousins and the comfort of their own life for securing ours. But we mostly forget about all the selfless and supreme sacrifices that they make for us and never try to understand their feelings and emotions. We should all remember one thing, that their contributions are countless, that we cannot afford to pay the debt of their supreme services and sacrifices. As we all know, they are the backbone of our country and it is our supreme duty and responsibility to always respect and love them. So, as a small tribute to them, today I am here with the song. Hope you all enjoy it.
I call upon our dear Surimimis for a teacher's talk. Respected CEO, Principal, Teachers and my dear students. Indian Army Day is celebrated every year in on the 15th of January. It is celebrated since on this day in the year 1949 the commander in chief of the Indian Army Field Marshal KM Kariyappa became the first Indian commander in chief. The Indian Army was formed in the 18th century under the British government from the East India Company. The Indian Army has been in the control of the British government for nearly 200 years. The taking over of the post of chief in the Indian Army in 1947 hence is very significant in Indian history. It signifies the complete uprooting of the British from our country. It is celebrated at the Amar Jawan Jodi at India Gate and all the army officers and at the headquarters of the Indian Armed Forces. It is a way of commemorating the selfless duty all the soldiers of the Indian Armed Forces. The bravest of them are awarded on this day with various medals. We are lucky to have the protection of the Indian Army, hence we should acknowledge their hard work and endeavor by celebrating Indian Army Day. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Miss, for the wonderful talk. Now I call upon Principal Sir for the Principal Message. Dear CEO Sir, teachers and loving students, Though India gained its political freedom in August 15, 1947, the process of becoming a full-fledged nation-state was underway. Politically, fiscally and militarily, it had to become stable. The partition killed innumerable. Some city-states seemed rebellious. Many sports were volatile. Mutiny was expected to break out at any moment. All this necessitated a strong military. India needed her own men at the top of the army. The last British commander-in-chief, Mr. Francis Booker, stepped down and Lieutenant General Karepa was appointed as the new army chief on January 15, 1949. This transition is commemorated every year on January 15 as Army Day. As we discussed many times earlier, we have to salute the valor of our soldiers. A strong force of more than 11 lakh of soldiers with a loyalty and patriotic spirit guard our country. No politics, no language barriers, no religious disharmony dwell among them. This very thought makes us proud of our soldiers. We slumber because they are awake. We experience peace because they put in ceaseless efforts. We live comfortably because they sacrifice their comfort. Dear students, if you opt to serve the country being a part of our army, it is really commendable. I strongly feel that our nation needs you. Set your target and march forward. Thank you.